hug and go, uh-uh. Put your hands in the air again. Turn to someone sitting next to you and hug someone and go, uh-uh. Put your hands up if you love listening to stories. Yeah, put your hand down. Put your hand up to myself. I'm beautiful. No, let me tell you about myself. I, I come from Townsville. Who knows where Townsville is? Okay. And uh, I've written six books up to this point in time. I'm working on some other novels and and the reason why um, I asked Miss to have you have a have a little book and to write stuff and you know I've, I've been very fortunate. I've, I know some really famous writers. Andy Griffith. Who knows about Andy Griffith? Well, he's a good mate of mine. And uh, who else? Uh, um, uh, Andy Griffith. Uh, Sean Tan. Who knows about Sean Tan? Well, he's a good mate of mine. So all of these guys. Um, we hang out and we do festivals and stuff. So, and do you know what? The one thing that we have in common, apart from being writers and storytellers, is that we all have a little book in our back pocket. And when we see something, because, uh, you know, if you want to stick it in your memory, that's okay, but so you might forget it. So you just jot, jot down things that you see that you go, oh, I like that. John Marston, I know, is standing in the supermarket and he's writing stuff down. And it's like, okay, one of my other mates who sold millions of picture books, he texts himself. If he sees something, he texts himself, so it's on his phone. So, what you're going to do by the end of the day, and coming up to this, and even after, is jot down little things that you like, and that tickle your fancy, that you think is cool, that you think is nuts, that you, and you write it down. Just well, do you know what we're going to do today, Miss, is we're going to do the two dances out of this book. Well, the first dance you're going to do is about the boy, that did not listen and go eaten up <laughs> by a giant teacher, I mean crocodile. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go through the story first. Okay, firstly we say you have to, have to listen to these three things, your eyes, your ears and your heart. Everybody say that. Your eyes, ears and your heart. Point to them as you say them. Them in my mother's language of Kunganji up near Kansas. You say, Tilly Tilly, Tilly Tilly, Binna, Binna, We 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 Then you say, You know, You know, Binna. That's when you become really strong in here. If you only listen with your eyes and ears and not your heart, we got another name we call you, we call you Binna Gari. You say that. You say, Binna. Gary. Vinagari. Teachers, you want to say Vinagari? Vinagari. Okay, yeah, I don't know if you want to use this or not because in that language, Vinna means here, Gary means nothing in there. <laughs> I thought that was my name when I was a little kid. <laughs> I'd hear mum yell out, Vinagari! I'd say, yes, mum. <laughs> okay, this is the boy supposed to be listening to his dad, and his dad said, you can go over there and fish, you can go over there and fish, but you cannot go over there and fish because that's where the crocodile is. Cuddle the crocodile. He lives over there. And don't go over there because he can come behind you and he can come in front of you. These two places over here, you can't come up the bank. You can see, and he can't come around behind you. And that boy, he's been a guy. He's not dinner, been a Okay, 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 uh, can I go now? And he takes off. That crocodile is always listening. He's been around for a long time. He just got to wait there. He don't have to move. He know the boy gonna come back like home delivery pizza boy. And he just gotta wait there. And we still do this dance up here today because we still got lots of really big crocodiles and we still got lots of people who don't. Yes. Up here we call them tourists. <laughs> so in this dance, who's good at acting? So what you've gotta do, and also teachers and kids, when you do acting, uh, when you play out your part really well, when it comes time to writing about it and doing art from it, then your art is really fantastic. But if you if you want to mess up and not think about it, then your art sucks and your writing is not very good. And it's about anything you do in life. Put your mind to it, set your mind to it, and you create beautiful things. And I know stories of people who do those things. There was one lady under the Sydney Harbour Bridge, as people went past, she'd, she'd make this beautiful soup. And she'd sell it to people. 
and she believed and she worked really hard. Now, it's sold all over Australia. How cool is that? Just from being really sure that you love what you do, it led on to that. So in this dance, you have to play the part of the boy or the girl. Now, I'll be playing the hitch. And I'll be going, yeah, yeah. and you've got to like, we'll use all that area up there, and you've got to like skip around and stop and look like that. And when you come to the first water hole, everybody go like that first. Then you come to the first water hole, you've got to stop, put your hands together, everybody stand up. Put your feet apart and shake your legs like the butterfly. You go, arr, ay, arr, ay, arr, ay, arr, ay. Sit down, cross your legs. Throw your line in and pretend you're fishy. And fully men hold him up, you say, ah. Oh. Oh. You say, no fish here. No fish here. You say, I'm going to the other place. I'm going to Now look around again, because you've got to skip around and look, come to the second water hole. Everybody stand up, put your feet apart. Put your hands together, shake your leg like a butterfly. Arr, 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 arr. Sit down, cross your leg. Throw your line in, push you, pull it in, you say, oh, oh, no fish here. No fish here. You say, where well, the fish gone? Where yeah, the fish gone? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And you go like that and you go, hey, hey. look over there. Look, over there. look at all those fish. Look at the fish. Jumping out of the water. Out of the water. I'm, going over there. I'm going over there. And catch those fish. All you teachers, you say, yeah, come on down. Yeah, come on down. Yeah. So you look around again and you go, come to the sewer water hole, stop there like that. Stand up, everyone, shake your leg. You go, arr, 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 arr. Sit down, cross your legs, try your line in. And pull him in, you go, yes! Yay! You say, yay! Yay! Lots of fish here. Lots of fish here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got fish in my tummy. And keep fishing like that, keep fishing. And the crocodile, you make a noise, you go, uh oh, uh oh. Our teachers, you say that. Everybody fishing, you go like this, you go, ah, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's just the teach, I mean, crocodile. <laughs> keep fishing. And crocodile again, you go, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And then the crocodile comes up. You gotta keep fishing, you're not allowed to look to either side of your face. You gotta keep fishing like that. You can't look. And the crocodile will come up and put the head on the shoulder and look at you like that. <laughs> then he come around the other side and look like that. <laughs> and then he come around the other side and look like that. And then you grab them and eat them up. Don't kill anyone today. Alright, put him down gently and just put your body over and you gotta kick your legs like you've been eaten up. And then at the end of the dance, the crocodile and the boy or the girl, they stand up together and they shake a leg together. The crocodile's like this man. And the boy and the girl. You know why we do that, kids and teachers? Because when I was a little fellow about that big, up and down, and camp, farm on, I got taught how to hunt. And I was a really good hunter. I was a really good tracker. I could find anything. Now I need GPS, but back then, I was a really good tracker. You had to make my own spears. And you know what? When we kill something, you have to sing a song to say thank you for dying. <laughs> because if you think about it, you, whatever you eat, if you eat meat, something dies. And that, whatever you eat, makes you strong. So, if you don't appreciate, I talked about that at the start, appreciate, then your hunting is no good. And your script for hunting is no good. So that's why they get up and dance. You know what, kids? My first big kill was a greenback turtle. I was only six. And the turtle was laying on his back and going flip out to smash its head in. Blood was squirting everywhere. And I was crying. I'm like this going. <laughs> and Dad's going, give me the knife. I look at you. And Dad says, shut up, sit over there. So I was sitting up. Anyway, they took it and my dad took it up and bought a piece of the turtle back to me. I was sitting over here still crying. He said, shut up and eat this. Mm. Tastes good. 
And you know, when we go to the sea aquarium, behind we see the big glass wall of water and see, and they see like big stingrays and handmade sharks and, and, and snakes and Nemo and everybody fine. And in the, in the, we call it Nagwa, the turtle, he come up to the, and he bang his nose up against the glass and all, all the little white fellows are standing there going, they're going, hey mum, look, look, a turtle, look. All the little black fellows are standing there going, mm. We get in there. <laughs> so I want you to get into twos. Find a partner quickly. Crocodile, stay where you are. You other people stand up who are playing the parts of the uh, fish people. Start skipping around the middle and looking for somewhere to fish. Where you go? Goodness, look 
it through. And he freaked them out by speaking Italian. What the? And then as we go along, you'll see is what Jan did is that the boxes open up and get bigger and bigger, and then towards the middle of the book, they disappear, which means what? What happens, like a barrier. what happens when the boxes disappear? What happens? Their minds what? <coughs> Everybody, you say if, if you want to, know how to, how to, make the best source. You must go to the source. And what did you like that? A play on words with you like that? I did. I liked it. And how long did it take with the family? Three. Just to learn how to make that source. Ah, now what are we not saying in that bowl of sauce? Think about that. What's the source he went to to learn how to make the best source? He went back to Italy, spent two years with the family. What's the source you have to go to in this country to learn about your country? You? You? Not me personally, but... Isn't that really well hidden in amongst the source? Thank you.